flu games. These are the Air Jordan 12 flu games. Michael Jordan wore these shoes during a game in the 1997 playoffs where he played with flu-like symptoms. The big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago, he is suffering from flu-like symptoms. No matter how sick I was, how tired I was, I felt the obligation to my team to see the Chicago and go out. Give that extra effort. I was really tired. I was very weak. Somehow I found the energy to stay strong. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I'm in grad school, you know? It's kind of hard. I record my own videos. I edit my own videos. I'm also researching and writing my own thesis, applying to PhD programs, so grad school has been eating up my time. Sorry about that, but I am actively trying to make videos. I still care about you guys. I still care about the channel. So with that being said, let's get on with the topic for this video, which is the flu, if you haven't noticed already, and vaccines. So let's get into it. The flu, also known as influenza, is a virus that infects epithelial cells of the nose, throat, and respiratory system. The flu uses two types of proteins to invade the host, H and N, which is why the flu viruses are named H number N number, like the infamous H1N1, commonly known as the swine flu. There are four types of influenza viruses, A, B, C, and D. However, only A, B, and C can infect humans. Let me explain how the flu is spread. It can be spread from person to person by sneezing and or coughing, or it can be spread from direct contact by touching a surface with the virus. Sneezing and coughing can produce airborne droplets that contain a large amount of the flu virus. These droplets can land on hard surfaces where the flu can survive up to two weeks or stay on fingertips for up to one minute. Here is a list of flu symptoms. The flu season in the United States generally ranges from October through May, peaking in the colder months. This is because the flu virus works better in cold and dry conditions. It is also important to know that you can spread the flu before experiencing flu symptoms. And if you are experiencing flu symptoms, please go see a doctor. The CDC has a list of ways to prevent catching and spreading the flu. One that I really want to highlight is washing your hands. Please wash your hands frequently throughout the day to prevent, you know, spreading the flu. And also, if you are experiencing flu symptoms, please try to stay inside. I know it's hard. People got things to do. You have to go to work, go to school. I understand that. But if you can, please stay inside until your flu symptoms are over. If you do have to leave the house, please try not to cough or sneeze in your hand because if you do that, then you're spreading germs. Try using your elbow, like, you know, do the down. Look at my down. You know, when you have to sneeze or cough because there's a lot of the viral load in one droplet. So if you're coughing or if you're sneezing and it lands on the desk, like I said before, the flu can live on hard surfaces for a long time. So please try to stay inside if you have flu symptoms. This is the one time that you don't want to be like Mike. Don't be cute and go to work or go to school and try to work through it because you might be spreading the virus. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Now I have to talk about the vaccine. You are about to hear an oversimplified explanation of the adaptive immune system and vaccines. These topics are very complex and I encourage you all to read more about these topics to get a more complete understanding. Feel free to email me and I will put links in the description for more detailed videos. Basically, I can explain the adaptive immune system in three steps. Number one, a foreign pathogen enters your body. Number two, your immune system creates proteins or antibodies specific for that pathogen. 
And number three, you are now protected against that pathogen if you come in contact with it in the future. So vaccines work by using your body's natural immune systems to do the same thing. Number one, vaccines inject part or a weakened form of a pathogen into your body. Number two, your immune system creates antibodies specific for that pathogen. And number three, you are now protected if you come in contact with that pathogen in real life. Like I said before, this is a really simplified explanation of vaccines. Be on the lookout for a more detailed video in the future. Now let me explain why we have to get a flu vaccine every year. The influenza virus is an RNA virus and this type of virus generally has a higher rate of mutations. This high rate of mutations means that the flu virus may change each flu season which is why there is a yearly vaccine. So in short, there is a yearly vaccine because the flu virus has a high mutation rate. Generally, it's really difficult to create vaccines. However, scientists are trying to make a universal flu vaccine that you will only have to get one time, not annually, and you will be protected against all strains of the flu virus. Now that you know how the flu is spread, do you guys still think that Michael Jordan actually had the flu? And if he really had the flu, wouldn't he have gotten a lot of people sick? And if the NBA really thought that he had the flu, why did they let him play the game? I mean, we all know why they let Michael Jordan play the game, but I think that's just a poor decision made by the NBA, especially since in the 1996-97 flu season, it hit epidemic levels for 10 weeks. That's just a poor decision made by the NBA. The flu kills and he could have gotten a lot of people sick. Also, the game was in June. And the flu season in the United States ends around May. And yes, it can happen sporadically all year long, but do you really think that Michael Jordan had a random case of the flu in a summer month? I don't know. I'm not saying that he wasn't sick. I'm just saying, I don't know if he had the flu. Mm. Who, play, who gambles until six in the morning like, yeah, no, and then put drops like 56 points? And then be like, yo, I had the flu. And then is like, has the wall attitude about it. Yeah. The great and for those out there saying that he had the stomach flu, I had the stomach flu earlier this year and just turning my head made me throw up. I was so dehydrated that the doctor couldn't even find a vein to put the IV in and my body aches were through the roof. So I don't even know how Michael Jordan played a whole game while having the stomach flu. So at the end of the day, I don't know if Michael Jordan actually had the flu, but I do know that I don't want you guys to get the flu. And that's the end of my video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys had your questions answered about vaccines. If you have any more questions, please comment below or hit me up on Twitter or email me. If you have any suggestions for new videos, please email me or comment below and I'll try to make them. All right, you guys have a nice day. Bye. I am never getting free Jordans after this. Michael Jordan, if you're watching this, I didn't say that you weren't sick. I'm just saying that I don't know if you had the flu. So, regardless, you still won the game. Just don't get offended, okay? Like, I support you. I have a whole gang of Jordans. Like, support black women in STEM, Jordan. By sending your girls some shoes. Like, I just want, I want some off-white Jordan ones, please. Like, can you send your girls some? I'm trying to be a whole scientist. I can't afford that. I'm in grad school. Help your girl out. Black STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Like, support that. Support black women and stuff. Like, giving us some Jordans. Can you do that? <laughs>